Greetings, this is Jerry Revere with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video today will be talking about provisioning IPv6 with the H248 Branch Gateway Customer Self-Install Script. The topic for this video is provisioning IPv6 with the H248 Branch Gateway. The agenda is as follows. We'll be looking at the existing customer self-install script and to review how it is used to configure the main IPv4 parameters and how it has now been expanded to account for IPv6 administration. The following applies to the G450 and G430 running firmware 31. Currently 3120.1 is the latest version of firmware. Considering the brand new gateway when you log into it for the first time, you will be required to change the root login's password to something that meets the alphanumeric security requirement. Upon successfully changing the password, the user will be offered the self-install script choice. Enter a Y at the CLI prompt to initiate the script. Next, you'll need to enter the desired VLAN, answer the choice to enable IPv4 as this could be an IPv6 configured gateway only. We will enter a Y. Enter the IPv4 address associated with the primary management interface. the IPv4 subnet mask and the IPv4 default gateway. You'll be asked next if IPv6 is to be enabled. Enter a Y to proceed. Enter the IPv6 global unicast address associated with the branch gateway. Enter 64 for the IPv6 prefix length or press enter to accept the default in the square brackets. The next field is to define the link local address if desired. You can define your own but I generally accept the link local defined by EUI 64 as duplicate address detection will detect any duplicate addresses on the network. The next entry defines what the IPv6 PMI is to be defined as. Press enter to accept the global unicast or enter global unicast. Enter your IPv6 default gateway. You will now be asked to enter the MGC controller list. The format of the list is a total of four members or four member pairs. A member pair could be an IPv4 address followed by the IPv6 address separated by a plus sign or with the IPv6 address first followed by the IPv4 address. The four members could be all IPv4, all IPv6 or a combination of both. All member pairs or individual addresses are comma separated. I am entering a single member pair here in this example. The last entry in the script is entering the host name. Upon entering that name, you'll be given a summary of the data entered. If the displayed data is correct, enter a Y and an Enter. This will write the data to the startup config file and reset the gateway to make those parameters active. The gateway can now be put on the network. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome your comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.